Hey everybody, this is Bob KK4DIV. I'd like to thank you for tuning in today because we're going to continue this antenna project we started about a week ago. Alright folks, when I got this into the house after putting it together, I realized I made a boo-boo. So what we wanted to have is we wanted this, where the coax comes in, the center pin, to pass through to this side of the dipole. The outer shield would be connected to this plate, to this side of the dipole, it would come out this way. Well, I have a little bit of an uh-oh. So when we do a continuity test, with this should not be connected to this. So you can see I have the uh, voltmeter set to ohms. Uh, we should have infinite resistance if it's not connected. So you should see that one over there, you know, basic ohmmeter operations. If I touch there, I touch here. Uh oh. We're showing that uh, we've got connection there. So that's no good. I'm going to have to come up with a different idea. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come up with plan B. Uh, I wasn't really thinking that through. I should have known that this would touch. Uh, that center pin would be touching the plate on this the uh, the feed point side of this plate where the coax is coming in. I left out one of these, and I'm going to have to add it back in to separate the center pin on the opposite side. It's also going to separate the shield from coming into contact with this plate. So I've come up with a plan B. What I'm going to do is I am going to use another piece of flat steel. Uh, this is one inch flat steel. I'm gonna cut me off a three inch piece, or I mean, I'm sorry, a five inch piece to match the length of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna isolate both of these. And then on the shield side, I'm going to cut, I'm going to make a, uh, a bar to uh, connect the uh, shield to this other side. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I mean as I put this together. I think this will solve my problem. It adds one more level of complexity to my design, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. And I still think this is a, a relatively simple design that most people will be able to tackle maybe in their own uh, shop or uh, around the house. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure five inches on this flat steel. Got some rough edges, so I'm gonna kind of clean this up a little bit. All right, now that I'm gonna use these um, non-conductive washers on both sides, I need to drill this other hole out a little bit. It's unfortunate because I've already posted these plans up on Patreon for you guys. I'm gonna have to update that, but that's okay. Let's get this uh, on here. Get my drill bits out. We use the half inch drill bits. I get this on here. Okay. Let's drill out this hole. All right, so now I'm going to use my 2564th drill bit, and we're going to drill two holes in this 
a one inch flat steel so we can bridge the two uh, ends of the dipole uh, on the shield side. All right, folks, so I've taken this one inch flat steel and I marked it where I want to drill my holes, uh, 5 eighths inch in from each end of the flat steel. And since it's a one inch piece, we're going to make the hole at a half inch. Uh, so it should be right in the middle there, five inch from each end. Now remember from my last video, I showed you the tip where to keep the drill bit from walking. Uh, we're going to hit uh, the where we want to drill with a punch, kind of give it a little bit of an indentation for that drill bit to start. GoPro, stop recording. So we've got my punch and my hammer. We're going to hit this again. Perfect. Do the same to the next hole. Good enough. So once again, I got a little bit of uh, shavings on the outside here where the drill bit went through. So we're gonna try to shave those off a little bit with this Dremel, smooth it out. All right, folks, I have the flat steel cut. On one side, I used the 25 64 drill bit. And on the other side, I used the one half inch drill bit because again, we wanna make sure that uh, we don't short that center pin conductor. All right, folks, assembly is complete. I believe we have something that's going to work. I have the center pin isolated from the plate and from the bar. The outer shield is connected to the bar that will go to the other end of the dipole this way, the center pin passes through, isolated, and goes this way. Don't have my U-bolts on here yet, but the U-bolts will be added in a moment to attach it to the mast. So let's do some testing with the uh, ohmmeter and see what it comes up with. So we're going to measure the center pin that passes through to the other side. Make sure it's isolated from the other side of the dipole. All right, so that is isolated. How about when we measure the outer shield? And the outer shield is showing continuity. So there you go. That works. So what we have is the center pin passes through to this side of the dipole. The outer shield is connected to this bar that goes to this side of the dipole. There you go. We got it. <laughs> All right, well that was a successful test using the ohmmeter to measure the continuity, to test the continuity on this plate that we're going to use as the centerpiece of my dipole. All we have left to do is get the U-bolts put back on and then get this thing mounted onto a mast, which will come at another time. All right, folks, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to another episode of, I don't know what you want to call this, Bob in his shop. <laughs> KK4 DIV antenna projects, whatever you want to call it. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, like I said, this is kind of a ongoing project. In the next episode, I would like to go ahead and get the, um, the elements cut down to size and maybe get this thing up in the air. But that's not gonna come for a couple months probably. The reason for that is we're going to be out of the house for a couple months while the contractor does work on the inside of the house. So unfortunately, a lot of these projects are gonna to have to be put on hold for a little while, but I will get back to them for sure. I really am uh, enjoying uh, bringing you folks along on these uh, little projects that I have going. So uh, be looking forward to that in an upcoming video. But at this time, I would like to thank everybody for watching. I do appreciate you tuning into my video. Remember, if you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Share this video if you like, that's perfectly fine. It all helps support the channel. Speaking of supporting the channel, if you would like, I do have a Patreon page set up at patreon.com slash bobplank. You can go over there and pledge a dollar a month and get uh, exclusive content uh, such as plans to uh, some of my builds that I've been working on and some other content as well. Uh, it's only a dollar a month. Uh, don't feel like you're obligated to do it, but uh, any little bit to help support the channel is appreciated. So we'll say 73. Again, thank you everybody for watching and I hope to catch you in a future video. This is Bob, KK4DIV. Until next time, bye-bye.